Exanimum, The Silent Call is a first-person indie psychological horror game. The terrifying and bizarre events that happened to Jason and his daughter Jessica on the road to Greenfield Town are dragging them into this eerie adventure, leading them into an unknown world. As Jason and Jessica venture deeper into the depths of the forest, an unsettling silence envelops their surroundings. The birds cease their songs, the fog thickens, and the rain intensifies. However, fear is silently approaching with every step they take, relentlessly pursuing them. Welcome back, savages. No time to waste. Let's get after it. The only thing I remember is that I was driving with my daughter and wife in the car. After that... Um... Oh. Oh, we're in the game already. Are we in a... Can we move? Are we in kind of like a... A straight jacket? There's a door here. We can't interact with it. That is a lot of pills. What does that say? Psychiatric hospital? Yeah. Psychiatric hospital. We have a strap bed and not the good kind. Did we draw these? Okay, uh, let's look around real quick. Voices in my head. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know what that says. Jesus, this thing looks terrifying, whatever in the hell that is. This is the end. It's here. Looks like a rake. Okay, someone was kind enough to open our door. Let's see what's going on. Can we, can we get out of this thing? God, why did I go from one psychiatric hospital video game to another one? Can we... Can, all right, let's find an orderly. Excuse me, doctors. All right, I don't see anything to interact with. Let's go the other way instead. That was our cell. Only cell on the block. Must be a transitory cell where they're moving you from one spot to another. What is this? What is this? That is someone banging their head in the bathroom. The door's locked. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're okay. What about this one? Nothing there either. All right. I don't know who this is. And I don't want to. Let's... Can we shut this? Can, can we... Oh, thank God we can. Downstairs we go. I cannot see literally anything. It's like a black screen almost. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Oh, I was not ready. I was not ready. I can't read any of that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Can I go around? Uh, all the sound cuts. That is jarring. All right, read the note. Subject Jason Mercer. Dear authorities, this note contains important information regarding patient Jason Mercer, 37-year-old man who's recently been admitted to our hospital. He's undergoing treatment at St. Valentine's Hospital, but we do not have complete information about his condition and treatment. More information is needed about his personal medical history based on our observation of the hospital. I'd like to highlight some important points about Jason Mercer. Extremely mysterious, introverted individual struggles to communicate and often appears to be withdrawn into his own inner world. During his time at the hospital, he's been observed experiencing hallucinations and occasionally dissociating from reality. This raises serious concerns about Jason's mental health. We do not have clear information about why and how Jason came to hospital. He has not provided any explanation during our conversations with him. It is imperative that Jason Mercer's treatment and observation process be closely monitored. Additionally, strict adherence to hospital security protocols is essential. Can I shut this door? So we can walk around? Yeah, okay. The director's office has to have keys right there. There we go. It would not highlight those. Okay, let's get out of here. I think we gotta go where this fucking jump scare was. 
Jesus Christ, okay. Jerry's gone. He's not. Oh, God, there he is. What up, Jerry? You need the toilet key? Okay, um. Hey, y'all. My buddy Jerry, he's got to use the toilet. He needs the key. You just hang out right there, Jerry. I'm going to go find it for you, bud. That's our little buddy. He's a good guy. Counting bug. What do we got here? From the early hours of the morning, the influx of patients and visitors began. However, the day started off like any ordinary day until those strange phone calls arrived. At 10.30, the main phone rang with a call from the number 2120. Initially, I thought it might be a routine call from a patient or visitor, but there was no sound. Only silence and a strange static noise could be heard. I waited for a while, but there was nothing on the other end. A few minutes later, a second call came from the same number, and this time, strange noises could be heard. I started to feel a bit concerned and decided to record the calls and report them to the security department. However, when the third call came, I was met with an even more alarming situation. The caller was speaking incoherently, and their tone was unsettling. I immediately informed the security department and continued to keep records of the incoming calls. We had never encountered such situations before. For the rest of the day, things proceeded normally among the patients and visitors. However, those peculiar phone calls still lingered in my mind. Note added to documents. Ay, ay, ay. Where's the phone? You only ring once? It's phone outside? 2120 was the number. Two. Oh, how do I do it? Uh, two, one, two, zero, right? And then enter. What? The fuck? Take me away. Um, if nothing else, the sound in this game is just on point to be terrifying. Here we go. Jerry, I'll be right back, buddy. Do not off yourself yet. At least give me some time to find you the toilet key. Or is there a key in the toilet? Jerry? Shut this door. Oh, there we go, there we go. What, I thought it wasn't going to let us shut the door. Alright, let's shut this door too. Let's be safe about it, guys. We gotta be safe about it, right? Uh, everyone has to blame Silent Hill for this moment because they're the only one that makes you put your hand in a toilet in a game like this. Well, the first one at least. Oh, God. I didn't open that door behind me, by the way. The game did. I found a key. Can we not take this sack off our head? If, if if our hands are free? Our hands are free, right? I would like to introduce the idea to you guys that if our hands are not free, it means that we just... We just bobbed for apples to get that key. No, I don't like that. Here, Jerry. Son of a bitch. Did I not specifically tell him to just wait for a minute? That I'd be right back? That I was gonna get the toilet key? Hell yeah. Oh. Okay, now this is cool. But how do I get this fucking sack off of my head? Staff only? We can't. Okay, we can't act like staff. Let's just get the hell out of here. Jerry? Jerry, is that you? Jerry? Jerry? It, uh... was not Jerry. It was definitely not Jerry. Okay, I nudged the brightness up like a hell of a... A hell of a smidge? To try and see things? A bit better? I'm not so sure that was... My best idea. This is not Jerry. Is this... 
Is this Samara? I don't know why at that moment, but I just apologized. And she said, this is your fault. We're in for a sad game. I'm calling it now. It's gonna be a sad game. Nice boots. 959. Oh, it's a fisheye lens, man. Come on. I hate that shit. As much as I like uh, body cam stuff, the fisheye lens literally makes me sick. Okay. Let's go look around. So do we just dream being in a mental asylum, or was that our... Is that our future, our past, or just our dreams that just happened? It's like a Samsung Galaxy S5. I had one. I liked it. Let's go check upstairs, right? This house is very familiar. Extremely familiar. Okay, we know this house, guys. Yep, everyone knows this house. We just did a game on the channel. The, um, the, the Christmas New Year horror one. This is the same house, it looks like. A little bit of a deviation right here, but same house nonetheless. Jessica was changing clothes in the room. We had plans for today. Okay. What's this way? Just a window? Yeah, okay. Sounds like she's showering, but... Take care of your daily needs. Optional. Wash your face, take a shower, use the restroom, have a snack. How is... Okay. Most of those are optional. How is... How's the restroom? Optional, man. Some of us apparently have really small bladders and can't help it. And it's not fair to make fun of someone for something they can't help, okay? That's not cool. That, that's actually discrimination. Wash our face. Now that we've already showered, those are all of our daily needs taken care of except for a snack. Let's go get a nice fresh piece of fruit. Maybe an apple. Good old Fuji apple. Or we could have a beer. Oh. Extended warranty time. Apple. Hell yeah. Color was Emily, Sarah's mother. She was asking if we would come to the birthday party. We were about to hit the road. Do I need to just leave now? Or what's the... What's the objective? Sweetie, it's time to go. Get dressed. Per usual, we're, we're waiting on the woman to get dressed and be ready. And we're ready to go. And have been for like 12 minutes now. We could take a nap. I'm assuming if, it, if this is the same house as the other one, this is the garage and the car will be here. Nice. What do we drive? After taking the flashlight, get into the car. Okay, we got a nice little sedan. I can't tell what it is, but it looks clean, right? Yeah, it looks all right. Looks like a government vehicle. Holy shit, it's blacked out. Thank you. Hop in the fresh whip. Just start honking. Get her down the stairs quick. Just don't let off till she gets there. We were running late for the birthday party. That's why we chose for the shorter forest road, but a tree had blocked our path. Oh shit, he's not kidding. Like, this is an actual tree. That's a, that's a big boy right there. Okay. Flashlight? Nice. Tonto, if you're in chat, what kind of vehicle is this? I'm sure you know. You're always on it with that. Alright. I'm assuming we just gotta follow this new path, right? We have a gate here. Can we... Can we open this? Oh my god. No, we can't. There's another path over here. Hmm. Are there actual voice lines in this game? None yet, at least. Alright. Let's try taking this path, then. Is she not with us? Is she not gonna go with us? Can we, can we hop in? We can't. Okay. Well, well, hell, dude. Okay. Let's try to take the path again. The environment so far is pretty good. Dark, wet, and dreary.
Definitely not where you want to be stranded in the middle of the night. What is that? Is this a house? Hello? Can we Morse code them? What is it? Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 SOS. Come on, everybody knows SOS. So we found a house right next to where we are stranded. Of course, it is time to break in, right? It's the only reasonable. Okay, I, I gotta say, it's not often I open a door to a house and there's just fucking dirt inside. Are we in their crawl space? Imagine we break in through the basement. We did. No, dude. What is this? Okay, um... Okay. No, 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 no! No, my guy! Why, uh... Why does the light have to go out? Is this a, a sex cabin? All we found is a bed so far. Okay. Imagine that's the timer until the house explodes. Just ticking down. It does vaguely look like a bomb. It's on the other side of the wall. Can I crouch? Can crouch. What in the fuck is that noise? Can I grab a candle? I cannot. I cannot see. I cannot see, dude. What is this? Picture someone watching us. They had time to take a photo, come up here, and develop it. Dude, I can't see anything. This is literally just the clock. Okay. Where did that door open? What is this? The window? We all heard that door open, right? Okay, I'm gonna try to bump up the brightness some more. Okay, for anyone who wants a reference, the game started out on 50 brightness. This is now 100 brightness. Our flashlight is dead. Another level. Holy shit, I can't see a thing. I'm not gonna lie, when I turned to look down that, that hallway, like, I actually had a feeling run through my whole body, and that was not okay. We can't go that way. I'm actually so fucking nervous. I don't know what this game has in it. I don't know if I can die, get chased. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what all can happen. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Someone drop a Slurpee? They want us to find a broom? <laughs> okay, uh... Go back to Jessica. Something is running. Those are footsteps. Something was running. Listen, I know we're supposed to go back to her, but I'm not done with my tactical reconnaissance. Okay. We may get lucky and find something like a like an M1 Garand, and that's really gonna help us out. Is this one of those, um, what is this? It's like the stretcher or whatever. You put your, you put your hands in here and your feet in here and they just pull you apart. I, I don't remember the actual name of it. Okay, now that is genuinely funny. Holy crap. Pretty good jump scare, I'm gonna say. 
I was expecting something. Not that, but it was pretty good. Okay. Jerry's back. What's up, Jerry? Okay, okay, he's gone. Let's get back to the car. Well, the car's still here, so that's good. The doors are closed. Also good. Jessica's not here. Saw that coming. Son of a bitch, Jessica. It's gonna be this way. No. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm running. I'm running. I'm not going back that way. Leave it to a Jessica to get lost and inconvenience us for the entire night, man. Leave it to a Jessica. Listen, I know that was cheap, but holy shit. That is a, another light. Another light source, her flashlight. And a note. Okay. Oh my god! <sighs> soy sauce. Got it. Yep. Got the soy sauce. Okay, let's look, let's just keep going. She's got to be around here somewhere. I saw something red this way. Those were eyes. Those were eyes. There's lights that way. Is that a light or are those eyes? That's a light. From the house. Oh my God, dude. Okay, okay, it's a lantern. I'm not slowing down on purpose, guys. For whatever reason, we have a sprint meter that is invisible. And, um... It runs out much quicker than you expect. Okay. All signs are pointed to the house. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Can we go around back? side porch. Okay. That's blood. I, there's probably blood on the ground. I could have followed. Okay. While searching for Jessica, I'd found a house. Perhaps she could be here. She was not. Actually, I don't know. We'll find out. Dude, holy fuck. The jump scares are intense, though. So far, it's been a mostly run-of-the-mill walking sim, but I don't know if we can die. Considering the game has multiple save slots, I'm assuming that something bad can happen. Okay, today I got lost again. Those gray clouds are hovering above me, enveloping my soul. The medications, as if attempting to alleviate the darkness in my mind. But how effective they are, I don't know. This frail body, this tired mind, it feels like I'm getting heavier every day. No matter how hard I try, I feel like I'm lost in the darkness. People around me talk, laugh, continue living. I, on the other hand, am an observer. A mere figure existing on the edge of life. Even though I'm in this world, I can't establish a connection with it. My journal is a kind of internal scream. Perhaps no one will read these lines, but writing seems to alleviate this weight, if only a little. Yet, even among these pages, I feel lost. Maybe this loneliness could lead me to find someone. Perhaps in this place where I'm lost, I can find a glimmer of hope, a light. Maybe. That is some real depression shit. None of that. None of that fake depression. This is real depression. Ooh. The Eggman was here. The Eggman. His eggs are still here. Uh. 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 -huh. Light off. Nothing. Light on. Fucking red. Okay. We're, we're just gonna leave that one alone. Flashlight still doesn't work. Understood. Look around a little bit, see what we can see. I don't think we can go back outside. Nope, not that, not that. There we go. It did nothing. Okay. Yeah, literally nothing. Well, pizza. Oh, someone was here recently. Wait, who eats eggs and pizza? Let's let's look around, right? Let's go through here. 
genuinely surprised we can actually crouch under that enough to get through it. The game doesn't make us find a goddamn crowbar. Okay, that's locked. That's a basement. That's locked too. Oh! Oh! Okay! There was a key in his neck hole. Oh god, okay. That's fine. It is what it is. We've already done it. We started the game by possibly bobbing for apples in a psychiatric hospital's toilet, so uh, everything from there is onwards and upwards. Right, guys? Can we make a call? 911? No, okay. Um, light? Camera action? Oh, we actually have some lights. Some lights. Okay. I feel like I feel like we've been to this house before too. Yeah, Emika used this house. In one of the one of the games that we played, Father's Day maybe. Yeah, it might have been Father's Day that had this house. I can't remember. Good asset. Honestly, the basement is uh, pretty massive, if I remember correctly. It really does take me out of games when I see reused assets like this, though. Because this was the, the child's room. Let's go the other way. This should be the master bedroom right here. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. There is no light. Um, what about this? Nope, no, no, no. Okay, okay, let's, let's leave those on. Oh? Sir. I should shut the door on myself. Okay, alright. Everything looks mostly okay. What do we have here? Anything we can interact with? Let's see, we have a chest over here with a, uh, a chain on it. Probably need a bolt cutters. Yep, yep, it's like the night and we've only got the flashlight. We have a combine? Oh, okay, now that... That's cool. Can I hide under the bed, please? Are we about to die? Can I hide in here? Oh, come on, dude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can open drawers? Okay, I, I, I had no idea. We gotta figure out what it was. Okay, alright. Drawers? No drawers. Ooh. So fine. Okay, let's go check the, uh, let's go check the master. It's very dark. It is very... Oh, we can't go in. Okay, it's stopping us. Alright, we have to find a flashlight or something, guys. The art is fine. Definitely not horror game-esque. Oh, okay. Jerry just fell over it. It's cool, dude. He had a little one too many to drink. He's gonna turn his head, isn't he? I really don't like this. I can't see. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, uh... Didn't even take a bite of the pizza, man. Made that just for them. No respect in this house. Now that I found out I can open drawers, I'm trying to see if there's anything I can open. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Nothing there. Still can't open that. Okay. Let's go back to the way we came. Check on Jerry. Jerry, you are not going to believe this, dude. I saw your family. There was like four other headless people over there. What is that noise? Oh, the fan. Holy shit, dude. 
Oh, hey, it's Jerry's head. Nice. We also have games. Can we play them? Hold on. Can I... So far, the way this game is, the atmosphere is very oppressive. And, um, a lot of fun, I gotta say. Jerry has seen better days, dude. I... 10 out of 10... Wholeheartedly... Expected his fucking eyes to move. And I'm glad they did not. Okay, that, that's, that's in the room with Jerry, where he's at. That's again and again. Okay, yeah, that's just a self-plug. Ice fresh soda. That's a seven, so that's part of a key, it looks like. Oh, God! That was totally uncalled for. Unnecessary. Unwarranted, even. Bro, they are just throwing everything at us right now. Why, though? Why? I said I'm right behind you. Can I... Can I just cut the game off? Do we have to, like, actually finish this? I know, I know I have a, a policy on channel where I, I don't not finish games. But, um... Can we just call this one? What's the bathroom? Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, man. I'll bite. Is this Jessica? Jessica, are you... You okay? Oh, the, the squish. No flashlight still. I can't see. Is it behind me now? We can't leave. I gotta pull the curtain, don't I? I cannot pull the curtain. What is going on? Oh, God. The squelching. Yeah, soy sauce. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yep, yep. We, we could read that it said soy sauce. Okay, yeah, no, um, okay, I'm not enjoying myself anymore. It really is just hitting us with fucking everything. Jerry, bro, that girl you brought home, she's fucking crazy, she tried to get me in the tub with her. I hate to tell you, dude, she came on to me. This may be a reused asset, but the longer I look at it, the better they did with it. Like, this is- this is actually pretty good. Let's go check out this door. Bolt cutter. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Why is it so tall? Holy shit! This face is genuinely one of the funniest things. That one's actually creepy. King? I wonder if this is somebody the developer knows. Indiana. Safe house. New laboratory. Need check. Shelter post. Blueprint construction. Needs checking. Check fuel every time. Hold on, baby. Possible resources. I want to know what this story is. Clue, danger, screwdriver, fuse map, U.S. Navy. Oh my god. That looks like a rake. If you don't know what a rake is, I don't have the time to explain it, but it's kind of like an, an internet cryptid that pretty much everybody knows about in some capacity. All right, let's check this out. I found myself alone with the painful thoughts that I struggled to put on paper. The echoes of my daughter still intoxicate my soul, and I feel the need to empty myself by writing these lines. Her laughter was the only light that illuminated my world of gray, even if just a little, but life played a cruel game to steal that light away from me. 
what I did was not intentional, confronting the truth from time to time, reflecting on what I have done and what I couldn't do feels like an earthquake shaking my core. Maybe you can't understand, perhaps no one will read these lines, but you should know that it wasn't my choices, but the circumstances beyond my control that led me down this path. My writings are nothing more than a desperate scream within myself. Even if no one reads these words, writing brings some relief. Perhaps within these pages, I am a lost soul, but maybe one day these expressions will leave a mark where I got lost. Let's get out of here, dude. Ooh, we gotta get into... Jerry's still here, okay. I just, I just keep checking on Jerry. I gotta make sure he's okay, man. There's some weird shit going on, and I don't want him getting yoinked. Or turned into stew or something. A soup. And... Can we... There we go. One? We found a seven and a one and a button. What did that do? Oh, there was another door here. I thought it was just a, a book bookcase, a bookshelf. That's my bad. Oh, we can't grab the... That, we can grab the lighter. Nice. That is a... Small body, maybe? Question mark? The silent call. Q&E. We'll, we'll check it in a second. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay, something is just like moving me around. No, no, no. It is like... Flying over to me. Read the note. That day was another nightmare. I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life. My wife, the most precious part of my life, slipped away tragically in a car accident. The sound of the collision, the shattered glass, even remembering them pains my heart. In that moment, time stood still, and everything was dragged into a sudden, dark void. But the pain didn't end there. My daughter became paralyzed as a result of the accident. Witnessing her trying to cling to life every day, yet failing, shatters my heart even more. I raised her with my own hands, embraced her with my love, and now it feels like I've taken her life with my own hands. I couldn't be a good father. Every day, I question why I've brought such pain to my family. Perhaps writing these lines can somewhat alleviate the destruction within me, but right now, I feel like a lost, shattered soul. Is this our main character's writings? Because how did our daughter get away if she's paralyzed, first of all? Secondly, I wish he would stop using the same terminology at the end of each note. It's very sad. All right, the silent call. The angel named Zarukul responds to a deep call in silence amidst the dark shadows. The lament of lost souls is heard. It shines like a beacon of hope in silence. Those filled with the desire to bring back their lost loved ones must carefully turn the pages. This angel is introduced as a mysterious entity existing to aid those in sorrow. Those who hear the call may have a chance to find their lost loved ones by following Zarukul's guidance. Every return demands a price. The returned loved ones may have changed not only physically but also spiritually i gotta say that looks like a standard doom enemy like just straight up it looks like something you'd kill a hundred of in doom the shadows of the past can overshadow the future and brave souls must make a choice amidst loss while these calls are filled with hope caution must be taken against the dangers hidden in the depths of darkness people are trying to return their loved ones and when they come back it may be pet cemetery style where they are not normal. Also, pet cemetery is a classic. Let me know how you feel about it. Alright, um, what do we have here? Open? Key? Padlock key? Maybe? Nice. What's this? I can't... It's an... Oh, okay, okay. It looks heavy. Puzzle? It looks heavy? What? Oh, that's why! Very good. Nice. We got a key. What's this key for now, though? What's over here? Anything? Say 1867. Let's go check out the bathroom in here. Because there's a master bath over here. Okay, this is fine. See your feet. I'm going to get them. We literally, oh, I wish I could see what it was. I really, I really want to see what it was. 
I hope there's some danger in this game at some point, man. I really do. Today I couldn't resist the anger boiling within me once again. I hate everything. This dull life, the painful memories, and most of all the nightmares within myself. My doctor couldn't rescue me from this chaos. These medications, instead of calming the storm inside me, seem to intensify it. Why isn't he healing me? Why can't he find a cure for my illness? These questions are driving me more insane. I'm lost in helplessness. My anger feels like a natural reaction to all of this. Perhaps, I hope, this internal storm will calm one day. But for now, the darkness within me leaves the bitter taste of hatred. I actually really like the uh, in internal turmoil and struggle that the, that the character is facing. It shows a lot about their mental state with everything that's going on here. And one thing psychological horror gets wrong a lot is just letting you know how batshit insane your main character is. It's always like a twist at the end that everything was just in your head. I hate that. I think we're gonna try the basement. Jerry's still good, he's chilling. For the record, I walked up to the basement door and it unlocked on its own. Don't like that. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm doing my best not to give you guys over the top reactions, man. It's rough. It's rough. I get startled easy. Everyone knows this. I get startled very easily. Ooh, this is a nice little little prepper pantry we got going on. We got our, our waterproof airtight containers. We got our cans labeled assorted beef stew, chicken noodle soup, all high calorie, long staying foods. What is that thing right there? You see that thing? Is it like a head poking out around the corner? Oh, yep. Yep, sure was. Sure was. Be observant. Oh, we have a battery backup system? This is actually like... Some kind of high-tech shit, dude. Okay, let, let's move this and see what's... What's this way? This has mostly been just a walking sim. By definition. But the story's pretty good. I'm actually enjoying myself. I like the environment and everything. What does this say? In God we trust. And then it's upside down. Send mixed messages. And this is, um, Lubricant. Is it, maybe I can't, is it actually Lubricant? I can't read. Okay. Lubricant. We, we, we got our tissues here. We have our time for play. Uh, someone insert 70s porn music. Thank you. More pizza and tea. Interesting combo. Is is the house wired or are these other locations? This is more interesting than it is scary, dude. Paint spray, auto parts, glue. Did we bring someone back and now they're a fucking demon and we have to like keep them inside of this basement? The, those are the kind of vibes I'm getting. My daughter. My little angel was dependent on life support in her hospital bed, and facing this reality was becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. I didn't want it. No, I didn't want her to breathe in this dark world. I didn't want to condemn her to this life of pain and sorrow. Yet every day the sounds of the machines tethered to her body were shattering my heart. The turmoil within me, alongside the pain of feeling like a parent, was shaken by the desire to do what was best for her. Perhaps shutting off these machines would be the best decision for her but making that decision was deepening the cracks I had created within myself. I didn't know what to do. All I knew was that I wanted an end to my daughter's suffering. And maybe making this decision could be one final gift for her. Dude, that is so fucking sad. You don't need me to tell you that. That is terribly sad. Nothing there. Oh shit. A flat line? Does it it restarts now, right? Wow. Listening to a flat line happen is fucking insane. Is it recorded then? Postal Union Zone Map, Birmingham, Alabama. There's so much like kinda going on, it feels like. 
me check over here. Was there anything over this way? No. Okay. I don't remember what this code was. I know we saw a one. Or we saw a seven and a one, maybe? Can we brute force it? A seven and a one? Because yeah, we've got nothing additional over here, it looks like. I was hoping there would be, like, a birth date or something, like, written. And we would just be able to use that. Or, like, the date of an accident, even. Yo, Jerry, I gotta go get a code, man. Hang out for just a little bit longer. As soon as I get- as soon as I figure out this door and get us the hell out of here, we'll, uh, we'll get you stitched up, okay? There was also a code with this right here, though. Puzzle? Examine? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we saw this, right? 1867. Okay, so we know that second one right there is a seven. Okay. Okay, we gotta find the other ones. I got it. I got it now. I don't know where they all are. It's a five. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Examine. That one is the bottom one. It's a five. So it's something seven, something five. We saw the one. Let's go get the one. One seven blank five. I don't know why, but I want to try 1785. 1795. 1705. Okay. Uh huh. <gasps> oh my god. I've always fought with myself. I can never change the outcome. I'm here, and I'll be here forever. Was that a physical representation of our own mental battle with ourself? To try to change things? Our daily diary. This is exactly what I wanted to do to myself. I wanted to kill myself in this way countless times, but I chose to surrender. I'm here now, all alone. Doctors diagnosed me with severe anxiety and depression. I'm taking my medication regularly now. I aim to heal. I didn't want to lose my daughter. Her cheerful laughter was the only light illuminating my world along with my wife's. My wife died because of me. Maybe if I had been more careful, both of them would still be alive. I didn't want my daughter to endure the pain after that accident. While thinking about what I could do to protect her, I thought the Silent Call book could be a hope. Maybe we could have a chance to keep her alive. But I summoned an unknown entity. A vague connection was established between us, and sometimes I see it. I surrendered eventually to avoid harming people. But I never wanted any of this to happen. Now I'll spend the rest of my life in this cell. Doctors will take care of me, and I'll take my medication. The diary makes me feel better, but I keep repeating stories with the same ending. It's time to end this cycle and start a new page. I've decided to finish the diary. Perhaps a new page, a new hope, and a new beginning could emerge. I hope I can find a way of salvation for my lost soul. Wow. That's all I can say. This was... This was very good. Very somber. Such a sad ending. Guys, I heavily enjoyed this. This was not the game that I thought it was going to be. But... This was done very well. I thoroughly enjoyed the story of a... Of a father who... Lost his family and it... Drove him insane. That's all I had for you today, guys. I don't have much else to say. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below, and go hug your loved ones. I'll see you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.